Hi, I'm Tanner Anderson, and this is my dog training feeder. So the problem that we we're trying to solve is that a lot of times dogs don't really know how to, to ask for food. They'll just go up to their bowls, and they'll just expect something to be there. And we wanted to, to solve that issue. And so we've used multiple sensors. We have a sound sensor here, and we have a sonar sensor that will detect the, the distance the dog is to the bowl. And we use those to, uh, to give the dog a means to, to ask for food. So we have different, uh, different, different ways to use the feedback so that you can use either one or both at the same time. So if the dog comes up here and a certain cycle is selected, then it'll dispense food if he's at the right distance. And if, he makes, if a different cycle is selected, it'll be when, the, when he makes noise. And then the third cycle will do if both are true. So as so long as the dog is next to it and makes a noise, then it'll give him food. And so it kind of teaches him how to, to ask for food. So to pick those cycles, we have um, this LCD that asks us, choose a cycle A, B, C, or D, and then we have this uh, keypad here, we can select those cycles. And we will go ahead and do that. Cycle D is the one that I didn't explain. Cycle D is a dormant cycle. Cycle D does absolutely nothing. But you can see right there that the time is given. And that is part of this big jumbled mess here that has the the real-time clock is in there along with our Arduino, a breadboard, and a bunch of wiring for all of our sensors and all of our different um, actuators. So the actuator that works in this is this motor right here. And if one of the conditions is true, so with cycle A, if the sound is active uh, and the, uh, the, the dog is close enough, then the, the servo will spin and dispense food. With cycle B, if they're close enough, it'll dispense food. And if with cycle C, if, they're, uh, if they make noise, it'll dispense food. So for this test, we're gonna show you cycle A. So I'll come over here to being in front of the sensor right here. So I'll have my hand here, and as I'm speaking, I'm making enough noise that it should just automatically feed as soon as I switch it to cycle A. And look at that, there comes the food, and then the servo closes, and boom, the dog has his food.